Dear Sam. So, Renegade Sands. It's January the 29th, 2022. Eight minutes before a 100 hours. Um, I, I'm, I'm coming back to you with a throwback, right? A once upon a time war story. Okay. Uh, you gotta go through walks in your life to get to your journey. Uh, you know, a lot of people say that throughout the years that they, they've not understood me. You're not supposed to understand me. If you notice that there's been a format in play, and most of you that are aware, I do have multiple pages that are under multiple aliases and everything. Um, that wasn't intentional. I'll let you know uh, that was because of basically knowing that you're on the right path because people were trying to stop you. Um, I don't need to be a uh, an advocate for this. I choose to be one. And I assure you that, uh, you know, I have been through my fair share of trials and tribulations throughout this community over the past several years with the whole big boys situation. And the funny part is, I don't back down. Um, a lot of people, you know, try to troll me and bully me, and I pretty much stand myself, and I tell people casually that I don't care what they think because deep down I don't in all honesty um, I'm disappointed in the fact that you think that I do because if I cared about you remaining my friend then I don't care about your life because I'd be more concerned in coddling you and being just like the other fake assholes that are around you and I'm sorry to be you know that blunt about what the people are that are enabling you and that are continuing to help you be deceptive in what you're doing uh, I apologize that I just can't sit back and watch idly as you do it um, it's just not in my nature right uh, I always said that music's healing for me okay and I, I never was asked what my story was. You know, I've always volunteered to tell people my story. Yet people were very judgmental and already biased on what they thought based on certain writings. So this goes to show you don't sit there and judge a, a person based on their uh, learning disabilities because I already said change the narrative. Uh, there's a reason why. If you have an editor, which I always have had an editor, and that was to make sure that my punctuation and my grammar was on point. However, if you change one word, you can change the whole meaning to what you were sent out to, uh... Sorry, the mask got me itchy. It, it, it takes away from the whole message, okay? So therefore I got very frustrated and decided that I was gonna start writing my own things and show people about my capability of reaching out to other people. Um, a lot of people got, you know, like, all bent out of shape about this. It was like, oh, you don't make any sense, you know. They've called me, you know, retarded, that, you know, all sorts of things. And the funniest part is I've gotten so many people that responded to me that understood my dialect 
and also reached out to me that have the same diagnosis that I have and have gotten a lot of insight out of the information that I share. A lot of you guys are also unaware that I uh, speak a couple of languages. So therefore, it's kind of hard for me to sit there and, you know, be trying to interpret, translate, and also talk to another person and punctuate all at the same time. I am but one person, you know. So therefore, it, it frustrates me whenever I gotta constantly remind people that I do a lot more than just sit here and, you know, am online. Um, it's difficult to put yourself into circumstances like this, but you're able to. And when you're able to do that, then you're able to come to a certain agreement with yourself and it makes it 10 times better. So with that being said and done, I reflected upon my addiction and my past and letting it go. We're so stuck within remaining caught up in figuring out how to get back to the old us. We don't have a chance to realize that we need to get to a new us to begin to live. The old me does not no longer exist. So that's a part of reflecting on who you were to become who you're destined to be. So instead of repeating history, take your trusty sword, put it in your hand, grab your paper, and make your stand. Renegade Note 101. Stay strong, fam. And remember, we're not alone in our fight. No matter how long that you sit there and you think that you've got to deal with the crap that's around you, you don't have to. You choose to. It's up to you if you want to be a victim and stay stuck in a revolving door or you want to face everything and rise. And with that means facing your fear and doing what's best for you in order to move forward. Because in reality, nobody's going to have your six at the end of the day until you stand up and you have the backbone to have your own six. Because, quite frankly, if you're paralyzed and your spine's not working, no matter how much I carry you, you're never going to be able to walk by yourself. And if I'm already struggling, I can't continue to carry you. You've got to start and try to help make the initial attempt to stand up and fight for yourself. Who knows? Then again, I'm only a loose cannon advocate. I don't do much for anything. Actually, wrong. I changed the narrative because, like I said, I'm the one that holds the pen. And I'm the one that makes the choices in the end. Can be stuck in what you're stuck in, which is a rut, or you could <laughs> be a mud wrestler and get dirty and then get back up and realize that you became a victor even if you didn't win because you didn't back down and you gave it hell. So it's not a participation trophy. It's called a warrior's journey because there is no winner in a war against something. You just got the ability to say that you made it through. So therefore, you got to start and figure out what makes it through for you.
love everyone you 10 minutes insight good night